is Amy from Step Extraction and I'm going to show you how to change the o-ring in your solenoid valve as well as clean the valve seat in the solenoid valve. This is the solenoid valve that you have removed from the manifold. You will need a 9 16 inch wrench and a 7 8 inch wrench to do this process. Also check to see if the o-ring in the solenoid valve is the red one that I provided and not the brown one that you can see in this shot. So we start by using the 9 16 inch wrench to remove this nut. You want to be careful to leave everything in order and make sure that you have all the parts for when you reassemble it. First there's a the nut, then a wavy washer, then the plate. Underneath the plate there's a flat washer, make sure you don't lose that. The whole chamber of this of the valve comes off at that point. There's one more wavy washer underneath the whole valve chamber. Now we grab the 7 8 inch wrench and you want to be very careful, do not stand in front of this valve. There is residual pressure in here even though you've bled the whole system. Be very careful. So you pull that apart and you can see that there's that uh, this spring-loaded valve part in here. You do not want to lose that. Um, you can kind of just hold that all together. The O-ring you can see on this is uh, is right here. You can change that. I've provided a, a replacement red one. That's the one we talked about earlier. So you can use that um, maybe to perhaps get a better seal. So now I want to, I'm cleaning the valve seat. That's the, this is the valve seat right here. I can use, you know, paper cloth or something, not something that leaves lint in there. You want that to be very clean. Now I make sure that's all spring loaded, put that back in there. I use the 7 8 inch wrench to get that tight. So everything is tight here. Now I reassemble it in the same order that I had. I start off with the wavy washer, then the valve seat, the flat washer, the face plate, another wavy washer, and the nut. I use the 9 16 inch wrench to tighten that, and then I'm basically done. That's it.